you're just gonna die in the end. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna try out something new today. Well, kind of new. I have never had a game mentioned to me more often by you guys than Danganronpa. Danganronpa. I actually started to play it a while back, and it was back, I, I believe I was doing it during live streams. It was back before I had upgraded everything, and I was having all kinds of problems with the gaming live streams. So I ended up not able to continue it. I was going to try and pick up from where I left off, but I didn't play a lot, and I don't remember it basically anything <laughs> there's a big surprise so i thought it'd be fun let's see if you guys enjoy playing do you want to play along of this with me and if it's something you guys seem to enjoy we'll keep doing it because i again you guys have said to me repeatedly how much that you'd like to see this gameplay all right so let me put my beautiful face let's try upper right for now see what happens okay 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 and let's go with a uh, new game uh, I think I'm I'm English. Okay. Um. Oh no, we we need gentle, gentle. Uh, please be gentle with me is what I'm trying to say. Oh, what the hell, dude? Hey, little bear, dude. Oh shit. I don't remember. I, I thought I'd played some of this. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> he made me tip my head. I was like try, trying to see the bear around the kid. Seems a little extreme, bro. It was blast off indeed. All right, this is a little trippy. A little bit. So, how much LSD did they have to do to come up with this opening sequence? <laughs> okay. Oh, sucks to be that kid. I hate when that happens. You creepy fucker. My wife loves bears. I should show her this guy, see how much she... How in love she is. Right, you, you, you jump scared me a little there. What the fuck was that? The massive high school towers. Oh, uh, the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. Area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. I hope to get a peek. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes hope's peak ah, a pretty fitting name. It does. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Well, I wouldn't have been attending there. No. Could looking at porn be... I don't know. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. Oh. Gotta be drafted. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. Was me. I remember... Yeah, I did play some of this. I, I kind of remember this. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. Do that. My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. Cool. Hi, Makoto. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Um, can I, uh, I just wanted to, uh, do, 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 reaction while we'll talk to other characters, purple words, maybe, and the right mouse button plus the right mouse button down a reaction mode. Then press the left mouse, giving presents while you're in free time. You can give people presents. Simply select the present you'd like to give them. Press the right mouse and give it to them. Fast forward. Hold down the control key in order to speed up. It's good to know. Auto mode will cause the text to automatically advance. Window on off. Um, uh, controls left. Sh left shift. Oh, okay, we already know that. I was just going to see if um, I wanted to take the um, sound down a little bit. 
I, I, I'm afraid that that sound is the sound of the game is overwhelming. But I'll do it next next gameplay then, because I know you can do it at the beginning. I already bumped it down some. Some. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. How the hell did you get in here? I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Being a mutant is cool. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, then I'll just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't even say why I'm your everyday hero type. I can't even say I am your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. Well, thanks, Makoto. But you know, if I have any kind of strong... I, yeah. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. Who are you calling a hoe? I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary. But still, here I am standing in front of the Anything But Ordinary Hope Speak Academy. That's true. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. Oh, that's what she said. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Hope's Peak only invites the students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high schooler. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation, Yahoo. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. So it's not K-pop. There's also the ultimate baseball star. Wow pretty intense. He was a cleanup hitter for the National High School Champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. I guess so. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Yahoo! Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler. Yeah, gambling! The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was a country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why, okay? We, rec we recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. You got the call. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student just <laughs> spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. It's starting to sound that way. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. Now probably the right call, kid. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Well, you could. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. It's not. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. Bom, bom, bom. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. 
The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. You see, you are exceptional at math and telling time. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I had plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Yeah, I'm thinking that little teddy bear dude might have something to say about it. What the fuck? Yeah, that's what I just said in my photo. The instant I took the first, that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. Yahoo! And how life as I knew it came to an end. Jesus Christ. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope Speak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Well, that sucks. Welcome to despair? Well, this turned on a dime. Yeah, let's save the data. Yeah, save there. Okay, Makoto, what are we doing here, bro? Speaking. Mm -hmm. Dude, it sucks to be you. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. Oh, we're not off to a good start at this school. What the heck is going on? That's what I'm saying. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy. Firstly, we would like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the WASD buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button and, uh, and move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? I will do that. Okay. All right, so... Oh, oh, hello. I better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. Good call. All right, I think I like, the, yeah, I like the WASD better in the right side. What am I finding here? What the heck? That's what I say. In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. That's always a good sign. And if I were to knock on it. Yep, definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. Thick. Wait, that's what, not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Yeah, that would, that would be my concern. I'm, I'm with you, bro. Camera, obviously. Is that a surveillance camera? It looks to be. It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. That's just more window shit, right? Yeah. Alright, we got that. Yeah, we, we already got that. What's the, what's the note? That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. That's me. I'll have to clean that up later. Nah. Leave, leave it as a gift. Put that on the desk. Hey there, new kid. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. An orientation guide? It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. The next, I just read that, yes. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? What about the clock? Geez, I can't believe it's already eight o'clock. It was just after seven when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Well, who knows how long you were unconscious. 
Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. R key. Leave the area? Yes. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. Yeah, it is. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Let's do that. Uh, WASD keys. Hold down the shift key while moving to run. I've got to remember that because I think that might come in handy. Also, you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Okay, tab for a map. Press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient. <laughs> All right, well, let's take a look at the map. Okay, how do I interact with the map, though? It just moves... Okay, so I've got to figure out where the main hall is. Why is there a little bear down there in the low, lower right-hand corner? I don't like that. So, what is the main hall? Next to the gym there? Hmm, not sure. Spare Hotel. Spare Hotel, that's what I said. I guess the place for people to stay overnight. But anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Now, does the map indicate where I am? Oh, yes, it does. Okay, so what I'm heading towards right now is that bear. I don't want to head towards that bear. No. No, fuck that bear. Nope. Oh, shit. AV room. What? Oh, shit, I went in. <laughs> By the time I got back to the main hall. It is the main hall. Everyone was already there. Everyone else was already there. Oh, hi, guys. Oh, gang. hey. hey another, another new, new kid? kid? Yeah, for sure, dude. Huh? Then you guys are all... Noobs? Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff right? point, but I wonder if this is everyone. I don't know. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. He looks, yeah, he looks like he would, that white-haired kid. Looks like he'd be a character in a fighting game. I looked around at everyone who gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Oh boy. Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naigi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? You too? Uh-oh. Hmm... Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment, there's something else we must address. Listen to me! Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. Take it down a notch, Junior. Jesus Christ, trim your eyebrows. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. Accept my what? dick. What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Tell him, honey. That's right. Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. Actually, when you first meet people, that is the time for introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm going to get. 
already looked everyone up on that Hope Speak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. And still, I, I just wish I could take that music down a little bit. God damn it. No way. I'll start by talking to these five over there. Aim at a student and press the left mouse button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Oh, great. Memory. That's going to help. Let's start with eyebrows. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. All right. I already don't like you, kid. Ultimate moral compass. <laughs> so that's Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka, according to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? Weird. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting, putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. I think I'm going to get along good with Makoto here. All right, let's check out Toko. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko. Toko Fukawa. Fukawa, I got it. Ultimate writing prodigy. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. And two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fisher that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pole. <laughs> Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? What the Stop heck? staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Yeah, she's got issues. Filthy creature? No, I just thought... <laughs> I know what you just thought. Oh, Jesus Christ. You just thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. A little problem with self-esteem, honey? No, that's not what I was thinking at all. <laughs> Don't bother you. trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you... I know you can't stand looking anyway. at me. Anyway... Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex, indeed. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Okay, who's the little hottie? Hi, I'm Sayaka Marzono. I look forward to getting to know you. As do I. Oh, the pop sensation. I should have figured. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group, famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. What was he alluding to, I wonder? I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Oh, boy. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. She seems hey, to be. Hey, um... Hey, by any chance... <laughs> now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto did... Just hold on. Uh, I thought we were going to find out. Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? You need to calm um, down, eyebrows. Sorry, just got carried away, I guess. Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, I'm going to punch that kid in the dick. You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. God damn it. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Okay, kid. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? What's up with you, bruh? Oh, oh, he's the ball player. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star, and that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Huh? 
Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? A shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> oh, man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of the national championship regulations. Jeez, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not going to dye it back to normal, either. You're hey, a listen. rebel without a clue. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know... I don't like baseball. Like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he's still his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! Now. God damn, I love baseball, kid. You're pissing me off. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. The dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You yeah, ignore I mean. your, your natural talents. I'm going to be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're How set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is, like, super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Okay, let's go to Nerd, nerd Boy. I am Hifumi Yamada. Yes, you are. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. Okay, buddy. Ultimate fanfic creator. Not surprised. Mm-hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic mm -hmm. creator. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them did. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I painted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. Did cut off your ear or something, dude? I'm a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What, what what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about in, about embracing our basis urges. That doesn't surprise me. I don't think I want to comprehend it. I'm once again with Makoto. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Jesus Christ. We got a lot of freaking talking to do here. Hey, right, I'm Alex. Asahina. My friends, but my just, friends call just call me Hina. Hina. So, okay. This gets a, a little bit of a grind here. Ultimate swimming pro. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She's without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. A combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions has been widely discussed online. Mm. So what was your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Matildo. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Negi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you got to write it on your hand three times. Sure, go with that. I've never heard of that before in my life. Hmm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. Haha, <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. So, basically, you're the swimming champion okay. with excellent buoyancy. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. What, what is this up here? Holy cow, it's this huge metal hatch. It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? This door definitely wasn't there then, though. Okay. I just want to see what's going on with that. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Hi, Chihiro. Ultimate programmer. Gotcha. Mm. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination that we met before? Uh-oh. 
Uh, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. Good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tahiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um, hey, so listen. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Why are you apologizing, kid? Um. Well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? Uh, another one with serious emotional issues. No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Wow. Okay, Kyoko. Um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirige. Okay. The ultimate robot? Ultimate, we don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. Very good. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but, you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope Speak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Could be. Um, so what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Yeah, why should I tell you? Eh, well, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, she doesn't. Ooh. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Oh. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Hi, Junko. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> sure, totally. Ah, ultimate... Uh, we knew she had to be the fashionista. There's no doubt about that. Anybody would recognize this one. Got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> oh, well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Uh, yeah, photoshopped. Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. <laughs> computers and junk. <laughs> ah, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're going to make me all depressed. Totally. Just look at anybody else bummed out. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Yeah, really, dude. Okay. And here's Name's Mondo, Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. <laughs> nice to fucking meet you. I like that. Okay, I like this kid. Biker gang leader. <laughs> right from the 50s. Mondo Owada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate bike gang leader. Nice to meet you, too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Ah... <sighs> Okay, four are the only ones left. Jesus Christ, goes through 14 characters? I am Sakura Ogami. Sakura Ogami? Is this Sakura female? Oh, jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I was trapped. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. Now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some called her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed missing link. <laughs> Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Good advice. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about hey. that. Yes. I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. 
Yeah, I, I'm with you, Makoto. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. I, I'm with this kid. Name's Byakuya Togami. Indeed it is. Ultimate Affluent Progeny. Nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. There really isn't anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Ayaki Togami, he's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of ultimate affluent progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope Speak Academy thread Come online. On. We're done with the introductions, right? How much longer are you gonna stay in there? No way I'm sick of looking at you. Fuck you. Zora says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. Yeah. Up yours. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? Take I know easy. I will. What are they, Canadian? Yeah? Ultimate clairvoyant. Eh? Known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any Could truth it to be? it. Okay, I give up. I don't know what happened. Serious. I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a sky fish in its mouth. Yep. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Hair. No, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink? We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see, and, well, it's a long story. <laughs> a few times, yeah, I bet that is a long story. <laughs> and finally, Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Ludenberg. Ultimate Gambler. My girl. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg, it is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you, for you to call me Celeste. You are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. That sounds Japanese. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic, Lolita Foes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Oh, that's gambling. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. Hallelujah. And with all, all the introductions are done. Hmm, even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of something yeah <laughs> okay time to get down to business yeah be after, yeah this is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons fuck you kid oh that's true i think someone said something about a bigger problem or something what was that about um listen well you see uh, um makoto you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep right yeah well the same is true for all of us what super serious i mean seriously just after each of us got to the main hall we lost consciousness and when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Calm down, bro. Mm. That's not the only thing you saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? Yes, we did. There's a bunch of big metal plates. Yeah. Are you for real? All my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Oh, shit. Um... Let me see my PDA anywhere. <sighs> And there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. We see what that. What does this mean? There wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck, bruh? Mm -hmm. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like, you know, crime or something? Is you it know? like a kidnapping? <laughs> Think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off when we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. A pretty bizarre you know? orientation. Yeah, I'm sure that's it, so I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. 
Something to surprise what the hell? us. Nap you time for I mean. me. I was up way too late last night. So <laughs> I could feel everyone's tension evaporating, but then it began. Ding dong, bing pong. That's not good. Oh boy, there he is. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Yes, it is. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. Yep. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. I'm with you. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's oh all. I'll be waiting. Heading to the gym, are we? <laughs> huh? What the hell? Goodbye. <laughs> uh oh. Hey! Could it be? Told him just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? What else they got planned for us next? Uh, Might have to go and kill the moon. Huh? Oh man, everybody's leaving. Oh, anyway. The last. Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However. Sorry, don't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around I here? I see. Good to have her with you, I think. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said go to the gym, right? Yes, let's save. Why, why is it going back to this? Why am I... Oh. Leave the area. Yes. Oh, okay. I see. All right, guys. I'm gonna call it right there because I've gotta, I've gotta level the audio and everything. What I want you guys to do is let me know in the comment section if this is something that you'd really like to um, continue. Hold on a second here. If um, I know a lot of you, which is why I'm playing it, have been saying how great this game is and everything. If it's something that you want to continue and want me to go forward with. I'm game. Let me know in the comment section. It's quite a rogues gallery we've got here. I remember bits and pieces of it, but yeah, I, other than like just glimmers here or there, <laughs> that's all I remember. Let me know if you want to keep playing this. This looks like it might be fun. 